comrade Beggy was very right. It's, he was probably representing all the old oldies in the ANC. I've been in the ANC since I was born. So that is a culture that I know. When there is an issue of that nature, it yeah. is discussed. And the person who, uh, who is affected, depending on what the effects are on the table, would be asked to step aside. But have you raised that in the NEC? You are the member of the NEC? I'm a, member, senior? I'm a member of the NEC. It has not been put on the agenda of the NEC. Have you put it on yourself? Um, I will do so right away now that you ask it. Such utterances have drawn criticism from some ANC members. Those who have grievances with other leaders in the party have been urged to do so within the structures of the ANC and the meeting of the NEC this coming weekend. Any prior leadership who criticize their successors, to me, are in the wrong. That's my starting point. When you are in a leadership position, you don't go public and criticize your successor or your predecessor because you have access to them. It is never necessary for you to insult a fellow leader in the open when you have an opportunity to talk to him face to face. So, to me, all those people who are insulting the president are doing it for factional reasons in the lead up to the conference. Uh, they must desist doing that. They must confront him if they think there's an issue. They must come to the NEC uh, this weekend, coming weekend. We are having an NEC. That's where we raise issues. Meanwhile, Mantashe, who is eyeing the position of chair, is up against the likes of former President Jacob Zuma, David Masondo, and Stanley Chupuma Tabata, amongst others. I am uh, two, ten years as Secretary General, five years as Chairperson. I want to take another term and then retire. That's how I think of it. Now, even if I retire, I'm not sure if it is obvious and logical to say, therefore, young Masondo must take over. No. He is contesting, it's okay, he has a right to do so. But what is important is what attributes is he bringing to the collective. And all of us must be assessed on that basis. And those attributes must make a difference in the performance of the ANC. November 7th is the deadline for the party's branch general meetings to sit ahead of the elective conference, which is a month away. So far, around 71% of eligible ANC branches have qualified. Those that have been disqualified, going for reruns, and many of them have gone through. And there are those that were outstanding. We're hoping that they will be through by uh, today. Uh, because tomorrow there is no uh, process that will uh, be finalized. Tomorrow is the deadline, it's the closing date. But if there are problems that are regarding a QR code and uh, assessment of branches, we will not just shut them out. We'll have to look into the circumstances around that. Mantashe also condemned the killing of the ANC deputy chair of the Khetseba and the region in Pumalanga, Muzi Manyati, labeling it as a pure act of criminality and not political killing. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.